Alright, so I'm here with the boy, Young Burnt Toast, Trap Ketchum. What's happening, Shofu? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Young Burnt Toast, aka Young Burger Patty. Nobody <laughs> wants beef, impossible burgers, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we out here. <laughs> so, it's a new year, you know, it's 2020, and I was like, we're gonna take over the VGC scene. I have not played like any VGC ever, and uh, I've seen Shofu, he's been playing, he's been playing that on Twitch. So, I was like, Let's hop in. Uh, let's hop in a video, and Chef who's gonna teach me a thing or two. We're actually using his rental team too, which you know is fitting. So, I think VGC is cool, man. It's uh, every time I play, I see something I've never seen before. Like that's, it's been a month and some change, and every single time, there's like a new strategy somebody comes up with. So that alone is is why I like it because in singles, like you you see you see everything at some point. Exactly, and, man. Yeah, I, I think this is really it, it's it's very uh, versatile. Like people bring Pokemon you would never have uh, thought would have a use, <laughs> but exactly. they figure something out. Yeah, see, that's why it seems fun. It's also it's nice to just switch it up a little bit. You know, we we, we, we me and you've been playing singles for like ten years on YouTube, and bro. Never, literally, <laughs> literally never really messed uh, with VGC. I always thought it was cool. I just never really kind of took the time to learn it. Um, I know you've probably played like a little bit of VGC in the past, but I've never really messed with it like at all. So uh, I think it could be fun to start something new on the channel, you know? Just kind of see how it goes. And uh, the season has ended. Oh, oh shit. What the? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Apparently the next season uh, starts on the 4th. Interesting. But I didn't know they wouldn't let you play at all. <laughs> so he can't even play at all? But you can try casual battles. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have to hit up some casual battles. It's actually not a bad idea because I don't yeah, know what the hell I'm doing. Work. Yeah, for real, for real. All right, well that really messes up my my singles rank, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, me and Shofu have literally known each other for I don't even know how long, honestly, probably like nine years, some some crazy amount of time. But I don't uh, think we've ever I don't think we've ever been like in a video, like in a call, which. That's crazy. Is that but... true? That might be true, bro. <laughs> Dude, I, I swear, I think it is. We've been in plenty of videos like against each other, but never like together. So we switched it up. We're actually we out here bringing some new stuff. That twenty twenty. I think you went to a single battle, by the way. Oh, I did probably, huh? Oops. There we go. All right. So this is the uh, this is the team that Shofu's been working with. I have played a couple battles with this, just kind of see like how it goes. I was just messing around with it. Um, but it seems like a pretty well balanced team, man. I like this a lot. It's got got the Mo Rotom, which. At first, I was kind of like, "What?" But it seems to it, it seems to fit pretty well. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Not too difficult to use. Yeah, see, I feel like this is a good team to kind of get to know, get to know the old VGC scene. So, yeah, the hardest part about best of ones is that um, it's hard to know what to bring right away because, like, obviously in the best of three, you'll gain information at first game. Yeah, yeah. But in the best of one, like, if they bring some crazy shit you've never seen. Then that's like it's hard to prepare for that. Yeah, it seems like it could be really matchup based. Like you could get you could get destroyed off a lead, and then you kind of really don't have anything else to do. Like especially when there's when there's best of three, you can kind of prepare for it a little bit better. But yeah, which is why with this team, I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty obvious who you should bring because these Pokemon like you can't go wrong with pretty much any of these Pokemon that you have on on this team that you're using. Nice. Well. You're gonna need to help me out here, cause that's that, that's the idea here. I was basically just gonna be trying trying to mess around with VGC. Got Shofu in here is his team, and we're just gonna kind of work together to see how this shit works. This man's working with the Chandelure, okay? Okay. Got that um, cut. I'd probably bring Grimmsnarl just to lead off because uh, his job is to set up screens. Yeah, I like the Grimmsnarl and then just like an offensive mod. Uh, so, go back. Uh, hit X again. We could probably let's just rant. Let's see. They got the Excadrill and T Tar too, which is probably a pretty common lead. Yeah. Hmm. Snarl. You could probably bring T Tar or Excadrill. He has that Rotom, then. That's the thing. I'm gonna bring Drill because they might bring the Whimsicott. I feel like the Whimsicott's annoying. Let's go. Let's go. Grim Snarl and Drill, and we probably want to bring. I feel like you bring. Uh, uh, I feel like you bring Gastrodon. Gastrodon's pretty good against his team outside of. Um, you know, like the grass type that he yeah. has. True. I actually really like I, I like Gastrodon a lot. This thing, this thing handles. All right, and then I guess just should we bring the the Durladon for the heat? I think I think Tar uh, Tar should be fine as well, just because uh, he has those two ghosts, and if you end up in a situation against those things, you should be able yeah. to take those out easy with Tar Very true. Very true. I think that's pretty good. 
All right, let's get it. So I like that Gastrodon's on the team. I feel like it kind of it does well because you see a lot of uh, a lot of hard hitting water types. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Storm drain something different in doubles, brothers. I feel like there's a lot of mechanics that I don't really think about much because I mainly play singles. Exactly, like... bro. A lot of a lot of moves and abilities are are only good in doubles, and that's where you see those Pokemon way more. Exactly, exactly. Like, you're not like... gonna see a stalwart a stalwart uh, Duraludon in singles. Yeah. Like... <laughs> True. True. All right, so they did lead off with the Whimsicott, and it's actually a great matchup for us. So we got the, the Grim Snarl scares the shit out of Dragapult and Excadrill takes care of the Whimsicott. So, do people generally Dynamax, like, early in this? Is that... Should, should yeah. I... You could probably either Light Screen or Thunder Wave, just because um, if you pair, if you paralyze the the, uh, the fucking Dragapult, you should be able to outspeed it and do some damage. Yeah, true. He, might, dra he might Dynamax right now and go for a fire move, though, so that's Ooh, that's why... It's, it's, yeah, because you can't status on Dyna. Let's actually just go for the light screen. Let's... You could light screen and switch out to Tyranitar, too. Because Tyranitar shits on uh, Duraludon pretty hard, but I don't know. It depends. Well, they got that Whimsicott, though. Yeah, if you... I mean, Whimsicott's not really a problem in the sand because uh, your defense is so high. Actually, yeah, true. The weakness policy t Tar though. Yeah, if you set up a light screen, too, it won't really matter too much. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be sad. All right. Bringing out the T-Tar. All right, so if you could have one tip to somebody who's never played VGC before, what is it? I'm not here telling you with the questions. Experience is everything in this because you need to know what Pokemon do. It's, you're never always going to know, but if you have, like, a general idea, you can form, like, a game plan. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, Pokemon in general is, like, a, very, yeah, that's very much a game of experience rather than skill. It's kind of just getting to know what different threats do and stuff. So, for sure, for sure. All right, he did Dynamax that thing. I'm very glad we did not. Oh, okay. You can't taunt. You can't taunt me, boy. That's what makes Grim Snarl one of the best uh, dual screen setups. Yeah, I figured he'd go for max player. That's why I said Tyranitar. Clean. Uh, yeah, because the, the light screen obviously is going to make that do even less damage. This man's got the plays. So he got rid of the sand. Um, but yeah. you should still be fine. That's you can always right. Dynamax yourself now. Yeah. I think if you so. paralyze him, that'd be cool too. Just because, uh, you know, he might he might get fully paired. Do we want to T-Wave the... Um... Yeah, I think that's definitely better than uh, anything else you can do right now. Yeah, true. All it right. still works. So. so we Dynamax Tyranitar, probably, right? Yeah, for sure. Just to take more hits. All right. And then do more damage. And then just max darkness on the Dragapult, I assume. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, we're not really afraid of the Whimsicott. Yeah, oh, exactly. Hot and bitch. I hate fact, Whimsicott. If he hits you, then you'll just, gain, uh, you'll just get your weakness policy. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Weakness policy Tyranitar seems like it's one of the best weakness policy users. Bro, he never... He doesn't die if he's Dynamax unless he gets hit with, like, a crazy fighting move. For real. Yeah, you, somebody hits you with like a fairy move, you take like 8% damage, yeah. <laughs> and then you get that weakness <laughs> policy. So it seems like it's pretty hy like hyper-offensive. I haven't really seen a whole lot of like stall stuff, so or like any much defensive shit overall. Yeah, that's the thing. It stall pretty much doesn't work in um, in VGC at all. Yeah. It's because, that's you clutch. know, of the nature of it. Grimmsnarl eating it up. What's the, what's the spread on this Grimmsnarl, by the way? I don't even remember. Uh, it's got like a good amount of. It's like it's like a mixed a mixed defensive wall. Yeah, it's basically here to just be annoying. Drops the attack. Yeah. That's annoying. Also, um, something I never even realized was that when you use Dynamax moves, uh, the stat boosts happen to both Pokemon, which is yeah, actually... yeah. So yeah, it's just like little things like that in doubles that I have no idea about. Like, I saw a Helping Hand, and I was like, I've literally never clicked Helping Hand before. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can take uh, hits from uh, anything. Let's see. You could go for the Spirit Break on Whimsicott, or uh, maybe Reflect. Doesn't matter. Honestly, I don't think it matters what Grimmsnarl does this turn. Yeah, let's, uh, go, let's go for that Reflect. Get that, get that Light Clay working. Yeah, for, just get it up for whatever comes in next. I think Max Rockfall would be better on this turn yeah, because... Get the sandstorm back up. Yeah, you get the Sandstorm back up. And then of course you'll kill the the dragapult anyways, so it's probably better. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. All right, so he doesn't have his Dynamax anymore. I don't think there was anything really else on his team that would be too big of a threat here. Did you build this team? Yeah, yeah. Nice. But I made it like I used rental teams for a good 
week, I'd say, first. Yeah. Before I ever even attempted to make a team, just so that I understood what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to make a team and then just go in not even knowing what people were using. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get paralyzed a single time. Yeah, ho- what the fuck? It's a waste of a T-wave. All right. I attacked looking pretty low out here, but that's fine. It's actually interesting with Dragapult because you don't even know if this thing's physically or especially offensive when it just Dynamaxes turn one. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. All right, cool. So we take care of that thing. That's the biggest threat on the team. Also, yeah, it stands back up for Excadrill. Not Excadrill. even bad. Things are looking solid. When does the next season start? I didn't even realize that there was seasons going on in this. Uh, the fourth. The fourth is when uh, they didn't allow Gigantamax. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't allow, allow Gigantamax. Just, uh, it's pretty much the same exact rules, except Gigantamax are not uh, legal for this format. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> legal for the next one. Interesting. All right, so they bring out their Excadrill. I think which... he just Earthquakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there's really nothing we could do at this point. I mean, I could just T-wave the Whimsicott just to get that off. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then Tyranitar essentially just died. I could actually max guard, but it doesn't really max matter. Guard. Let's I go for max, max guard. guard. Yeah. Also, I apologize if the audio on either of our end isn't the best. Shofu has to use Skype like it's fucking 2013 again. <laughs> <laughs> because Discord, for some reason, it just does not want to work for him. So, so we are here on Skype, and uh, we made it work. We literally messed around for like an hour trying to get this shit to, to happen, so... But we did it. All right, so Grimstone goes down. The Max Guard helped us out. Did he rock slide there? Uh, what did he do? I actually, I think he clicked DQ. I actually wasn't even. I was not even watching. I think he. I think he rock slided because he didn't hit his own Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh. All right. So, you might have lived though. I'm surprised he went for that. Yeah, for real. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, rock what slide we, was an interesting seen? play there. What have we seen from his Whimsicott? Uh, Basically. Just Moonblast, right? We haven't. I mean, I think Excadrill is probably the best bet here, but it kind of comes down to like a. Hmm, this is kind of sketchy. Does Tyranitar have Protect? Oh, we can't Protect because we Max Guarded. Uh, uh, I think you can. I think you can Protect because you Max Guarded. All right, I think I kind of have to go Drill. I really don't want to. Man, that Whimsicott's kind of a yeah, problem. You I mean, you have Protect on Gastrodon. Oh, yeah. To Scout, but. Should I, don't I go really Gastrodon? Hope. I'm not really sure, bro. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're going into the Excadrill. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you have to outspeed that Excadrill, otherwise you're gonna die. Yeah. Well, you true. have reflect them actually. You should be fine. You won't yeah, die. Yeah, I have the reflect. So yeah, we're clutch. All right, all right. Dynamax is over. No more fucking Godzilla. But we good. Yeah, you can just protect and then earthquake. Do I? Yeah. Protect, so uh, Excadrill, earthquake, and then Titar protect. Yeah. But it's, I heard you can protect after you max guard, but I'm not sure. So I yeah, I think we'll I, I think I tried it one time. I think it's still the same, like the same role as before. Like yeah. as just double protect. I guess we'll try it out though. It's worth it to just go for it because Tyranitar is gonna die either way. That's facts. Let's see. Let's get it out. Yeah. Hey. Clean. Yeah, and then hopefully, I mean, if he gets the earthquake off, oh, we actually. Oh, we're gonna go uh, maybe first. Maybe not. Uh, should be sand for. He has a Shookaberry. Why? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Actually, that's so helps. gross. The Shockaberry Excadrill, bruh. All right, well that's annoying. That really would have worked out. High horsepower too. Oh, we avoided it, <laughs> bro. That move has 95 accuracy and he missed. <laughs> oh my that's god, that's tragic. That is hilarious. Yo, first VGC match on the channel. The luck is here. All right. Uh, um, I, I guess you try to protect again with Tyranitar. Yeah, well, I don't think we can, I don't think, I think he's guaranteed failed three, but it doesn't really matter, because... Are you going to Iron Head, uh, you can Iron Head Excadrill and probably kill him now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Damn, I almost just misclicked. All right, let's kill the Excadrill. And should we just go for the triple protect, or do I just click Fire Punch on the Whimsicott, actually? I don't know if it matters at this point. I don't think it matters either. We're going to try to Fire Punch that bitch. So Fire Punch on Tyranitar seems like it's there for, like, Corviknight and, like, Ferrothorns and shit like that. Oh, he is going to, he's going to just... That killed? Damn. Killed the reflect. Holy shit. The reflect. Oh, we get the full we get the para though. Okay. So we still have the Gastrodon, which uh is nice. So we're able to take that thing out. So Man. It's rough out here, bro. It's too much going on. Alright, Gastrodon. The slug. What do we got here? 
Uh, so the excadrill probably we can take the excadrill. It just depends on what they all, what else they brought. Okay, it's the. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Nice. So as long as you kill excadrill, uh, he might protect. Yeah. But as long as you kill excadrill, he should be perfectly fine. Okay, we'll go for that earth power. But what do we? Like? We just don't yeah, have much for the uh, earth power and then protect maybe. Okay. Power, yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. See, I've never used protect so many times in my life, bro. Yeah, protect is really good in VGC just because <laughs> you can be targeted by two Pokemon. So. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that was why I was kind of turned off to VGC. I was like, there's too much like protecting and bullshit going on. It seems like it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right. I like it. I like it. The strategy aspect of VGC is very like. That's. I think that's the draw to it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I knew you were gonna do that. I didn't yeah. do anything. Okay, so uh, that's that's the whole game right there. Guess you're not eating it up. Yes, my boy. All right, so there goes the exit drill. Um, and now it's just us against this goddamn washing machine. Yeah, there's no way he can touch you with anything now. As far as Gastrodon goes. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, I mean we really can't touch it either. We could literally just sit here and ice beam all day. But it kind of comes down to the point where we have the upper hand. So not even bad. Not yeah. even bad. Um, so basically, we just click Ice Beam, right? There's really no nothing else to do, and we're gonna Rock Slide. Yo, my first battle actually, I was messing around in just like a, I think oh he's just gonna run. I think it was a casual match, but this dude led off with like two Ice types, and I Rock Slided, and I got flinches on both of them. I was like, fuck yeah, VGC is oh easy. Lord. VGC <laughs> is easy. <laughs> you gonna disconnect on us? He hit me with the DC. All right. Battle number one, boys. We're gonna get us another one. I actually really do like this team. It's it seems it's it's easy to learn with. Yeah, exactly. All right, we got somebody else. All right, AJ, what's popping? So let's see here. We want we want to switch it up. They got the they got the Appleton. <laughs> okay. Oh, hmm. we could potentially see some trick room here. Hmm. Um, Crawdon. Yeah, I feel like whenever I see Crawdon, I'm like that thing's scary, bro. We kind of need to bring Gaster on because I think the threat. Yeah, Gaster on the back would not be a bad idea, but he has an Apple Ten. Uh, Fuck yeah, this is a good, this is a good matchup. Just lead, you could just lead Tyranitar, Exodio, or Grimmsnarl and Tyranitar. Hmm. Let's go with Tyranitar, Exodio. Let's go for the, let's go for that offense early, and then we'll probably bring Gaster on in the back, and then what else do we want here? Don't need to bring the Mo Rotom. Um. Maybe Grimmsnarl just in case, but because I'm sure they're gonna bring the Dragapult. Hmm. We could bring Grimmsnarl. I think Grimmsnarl is the play. I'd probably lead with Grimmsnarl though. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. This team is weird as hell. <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, let's let's go Grimmsnarl Titar, and then Drill. I guess we don't really need yeah. Axe Drill. Ah, yeah, well, all right, we'll bring Drill. All right, all right. I like that. I feel safe. Also, the Mimikyu is always a threat. I hate that thing so much. All right, let's get it. We're going undefeated all 2020. Mimikyu is mad annoying. Yeah, it is, dude. It's way too good. All right. So, what do we think? Oh, this man's got the red. This guy's a blood. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He just left straight up damage. Did not okay. expect the damage. All right, so. Oh, fuck. Did I lead? Oh, shit. I that fucked up. Worked out. I fucked up the lead, but this <laughs> actually works out. Now he's probably gonna go for a fighting move on. Uh, mm, yeah, T-Tar. T-Tar. What is it? What fighting moves those things? I mean, this guy's got fire in his eyes and shit. I'm scared. Crawdon uh, gets a couple fighting moves. Haxorus might Dynamax or something. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Do we want to switch T-Tar? You could always Dynamax right now and just try to kill uh, Crawdon. I don't know if he'll, he won't kill you with a fighting move, but I don't know. I don't know what his speed stat is at. Yeah, I don't think that thing's too. All right, let's let's just go for the max rock fall probably on that thing. Yeah, that's and probably then cool. We can have Gaster. Yeah, Gasterdon lead actually worked out clutch. Uh, <laughs> you could just ice beam the Haxorus probably. Thing I, I assume they're gonna have Dynamax the Haxorus, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, usually they do immediately. Let's go for the ice beam on that thing. All right, clean. The misclick on the lead kind of helped out. Uh, maybe he did Dynamax. Yeah, because I went first, but... You went first, yeah. Those faster Pokemon always Dynamax yeah. first. Yeah. Very nice, Only very nice. Oh, yeah. And he still has a water move on you, so even if he did... Yeah. Yeah, because we got the Storm Drain. Clutch. All right, let's see here. 
So they are gonna, they're just gonna save it. Scary face? Hello? Did not expect. Lowers Gastrodon. He lowers Gastrodon speed. It's already Yo, slow. You gotta worry about Gastrodon, boy. The fastest slug. All right, so Crowdon has Sash. He has a Sash. Oh my God. What is this guy? Wear? What are you doing here, buddy? Fire, but he won't kill you. He won't hit with it. Yeah, we have the same stuff too. What is going on here? Okay, so this guy is probably just a new player. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get this one quick. See, Ice Beam. That That's... did big damage. Oh my Real God. Gastrodon on hitting. Okay, and the Sandstorm knocks it knocks both of them out actually. <laughs> All right, so we sm I'm smelling a uh, I'm smelling a disconnection here, but that's fine. Let's see what they got for us. <laughs> got to make sure you scary face the Gastrodon kids. That's that's how you play. <laughs> Jesus, there were so many scenarios where that could have actually been pretty decent for them. But all right, so they brought the Mimikyu. That's fine. Mimikyu is good because it just wastes a turn of the opponent's Dynamax. To be honest. All right. Um, that's facts. So let's see, they brought the Grimmsnarl uh, too. Yeah, I'd probably so attack Grimmsnarl here. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Just because uh, you don't want to waste that big damage on on a on a clone or a disguise. Yeah, true. Let's just go you ahead. Break, and... Yeah, break it with Mim, uh, with Gastrodon, and then you can attack next turn with Tarn. Yes, yes, perfect. Yeah, because there's no scenario here where they're able to knock Titar out in one hit. Grimmsnarl is going to bulk up. <laughs> It's interesting. You see, there's like two types of Grim Snarls around. They're either just dual screens, annoying with T Wave, or they actually they set up and they're kind of scary. Double team? Oh my Bruh. god, <laughs> bro! Oh this, no! This is my introduction to VV, VGC right you here. Can't miss, uh, you can't miss max moves though. Yeah, that's true. So that's nice. But unless we miss this uh, this Earth Power, big damage. We don't even need the weakness policy. All right, so we hit the Earth Power too. Also, Disguise gives you damage now. You take damage from this yeah, guy, which is pretty tight. Yeah, really... yeah, that is nice. All right. Sandstorm coming in clutch. Yeah, now I think you should attack uh, Mimikyu while we still while we can still hit it. <laughs> yeah. We pretty much got this game in the back. We got the Axe Drill in the back. Not many scenarios where this goes wrong. But then again, you never know with this shit, man. There was a couple games where I was like, oh, I got this easy, and then they... I used my Dynamax too early, and then it just, it, I fucked yeah. it all up. Yeah, that's Pokemon in general, though. Yeah, straight up. One wrong move, dude, you, you're fucked. All right, so this should be, this should do it, essentially. Unless this Mimikyu, no, no, you can't even, you can't even miss the Dynamax move, so we, we're Gucci. Really thinking about it. The Sandstorm really fucks up the, uh, the frames, bro. <laughs> How are you gonna play rough Gastron? We eating it. Gastron is way too good, dude. Alright, Max Darkness takes that thing out, and uh we're good. <laughs> so, yo, the Gastrodon lead. Alright, we gotta hit we gotta get one more in because that one this one did not count. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this man had the scary face hacks risk. He for sure just caught that thing in a max raid battle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice what casual had in store for us. Oh, we got that late game weakness policy just in case. Just in case. It also got health back from that fucking. That's annoying. Earth Power gonna do it though? Oh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Gastrodon dealing the damage. Alright, so. 2 and 0. Oh, we are not gonna lose. AJ. What are you doing, buddy? Alright, one more. Gotta get one more going in here. And then uh, I will probably be doing some ranked battles after this. Once, uh, probably on Twitch, get the feel for it. Maybe do like a road to ranked on YouTube. True. We shall see. Also, once I build the team, gonna battle Shofu because I'm sure there's probably already like 50 comments about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this man brought some heat. This man, okay, this is a more proper team for sure. Okay, Arcanine seems pretty popular. Um, usually when I see a team like this, I'll bring. See, Grimstone dies to max uh, Steel Spike, usually, mm. even with the Reflect up Damn. from uh, Excadrill. All right, so what do we want to do here? You could bring Grimstone and Rotom, maybe? But see, that that uh, Arcanine is not... I'd probably bring Grimstone and Tyranitar. Yeah. Uh, usually when I see, like I said, uh, Arcanine, I'll protect 
and I'll see if they want to go for the will mm-hmm. Just to kind of scout that shit out. Um, All right. And then we'll go... Yeah, bring Gash back. I think you bring the same the same floor. Yeah, we're going with, <coughs> Excuse me. We're going with the squad. Got the yeah, Duraladon in the back. Duraladon's more there for uh, trick room setters. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, one of the one of the most popular things that I seem to see is like the trick room Hatterene or whatever. I don't know how yeah, you're supposed so, to counter that bitch, dude. <clears throat> Duraladon has an ability that lets him attack... Uh, any Pokemon he wants, regardless of re- redirection. Yeah. So, like, Pokemon uses Follow Me. You can still attack. Uh, nice. A Pokemon did use Follow Me. Yeah, it's actually super nice. I didn't even know that. Oh, this man's buzzing out the shinies. Okay. Or women, <laughs> women actually. Just kidding. All I right. Would have been perfect here, but. Yeah, damn it. They're going to bring. Yeah, for real. It's quite <clears> the <throat> guessing game. That's why when it comes to, like, best of threes, then you can kind of. Kind of gauge a little bit better. All right, so let's see here. Grim Snarl, we probably want to just go for Reflect, right? Yeah, I think you can Reflect and then Dynamax with Tyranitar and pick up something. Maybe uh, maybe go for the Fire move on, on Excadrill or yeah. even... Hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of afraid of his Tyranitar. Well, we have the Gastrodon, so we should be all right. All right. I never thought Gastrodon would be so valuable, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to Dynamax... Uh... Excadrill here and go for Steel Spike. Yeah, on the Grim Snarl. So we'll see. So it would have been cool if we brought that Rotom, but we didn't know he would bring these two to start. Yeah. This is true. I mean, this does seem like a pretty common like lead setup, but it's hard to like. Well, they just have so many threats on the team. They could. There's so many options. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> All right, big Excadrill, and we got a big ass Godzilla. So let's see here. <laughs> There's a lot of downtime to think about stuff in doubles, which is actually kind of nice. All right, let's see here. So, big Tyranitar. What is his T-Tar going to do is the question. All right, so we get the Reflect up. We'll see if we still go down uh, to the Max Steel Spike. Is that no matter if they're Adamant or Jolly? Okay, so they just go for it. Yeah, you oh, went for uh, Oh, we live in 21. That's beautiful. Clean. All right, really nice. So they do get the defense boost from that, though, which does suck. Which they both get the damn defense boost, which is annoying. And Max Flare is still going to do half, so that's solid. But now, what does this damn Tyranitar target do? Also sets up the sun. Rock Slide. Rock Slide. Okay, that kills Grimmsnarl. That's a safe play. Safe play. All right. So we probably go Gastrodon here. Uh, yeah, for no, sure. No real other option. And another Max Flare, especially since the sun's up now, we get that boost, so it's going to kill the Excadrill. But can Tyranitar take a hit from that thing? Yeah, Dynamax we should be able to, right? I'm not sure. See, I don't know if he has... Uh, see, he has the defense boost, too. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, and we could not, double into it. It, does, it doesn't matter now, but I don't know if he has weakness policy or not. But you should still be fine. Honestly, okay. you ever like the... Let's see. Should I Earth Power the Tyranitar? We, so we should go for Joe, just in case you don't kill. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We'll just go for the insurance. All right, and then yeah, just Max Flare again. Because yeah, he's gonna get another defense boost from the Steel Spike that yeah. he's probably. Actually, maybe you shouldn't have. Actually, no, you should be fine either way then. Because even if he gets a defense boost, if he hits your Tyranitar, you'll get a weakness policy boost. Oh, but he's gonna Max Guard. Oof. That was a good play. Yeah, that was a good play. <laughs> I was thinking about that too. I was like, if he Max Guards here. He knows that we want to... Yeah, damn, that was a good play. But that's Rock Slide right. doesn't do shit anyway, so... Yeah, that's not even... Kind of just a wash of a turn, so... Just wasting yeah. Dynamax turns at this point. But we're good, we're good. He didn't have... What did he, Let's see, what did they have that for Gastrodon? Um, they didn't really have nothing. Uh, pretty much nothing. Yeah, clutch. All right. Let's see here. I guess we just do the same thing. Yeah, I think you do the same thing. Hopefully he doesn't get two in a row. That'd be luck. Yeah, that would be... Would be quite whack. Well, I mean, we got two in a we we got two protects in a row in that first battle, but <laughs> when we get him is fine. <laughs> That's skill. It does seem like I drop hella frames in these though, man. All right, I'm just gonna go for the max rock fall. Is it gonna get Gastrodon? No. Max rock fall. Yeah, he's not trying to activate your weakness policy. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's that is something you gotta think about when you see a Tyranitar. You basically can know that that thing is gonna be weakness policy. But that did no damage though, so we'll take that. Yeah, we will take that all day. And let's see what the max flare does in the sun. It should kill, right? Nope. Damn it. Sand was up because of the rock fall. Yeah. 
Son of a bitch. But we doubled into it, so we're good. Now Tyranitar is going to crunch. Not going to do anything. Hopefully, you will get a defense drop. Perfect. Yeah, All right. Perfect. So, we got the Excadrill down. Gastrodon's still pretty healthy. We could probably just, like, recover this thing. They can't bring in the Arcanine. If they brought the Rotom Watt, they really don't have much. This team's got most things covered, it seems like. Yee. Is this what you? Is this the team that you've been like still messing around with? Or you got some new stuff? Uh, this is the team I made it to Masters with, but I've uh, been trying other stuff too, just so I can learn. Um, you know, there's plenty of strategies to use. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So, we got the Dragapult out here. I probably want to start getting that Tyranitar done. Do we? Do I recover with Gastrodon, or should I just? I think recover is a better move right now. Yeah. Just because uh, you're gonna be you're the slowest Pokemon, so you're gonna be low if he if he targets you. Exactly. Yeah. So I can uh, crunch the Dragapult, or... Yeah, you can either go for Crunch or Protect. I don't think it matters. Um, we don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. I'd be know. better Protect. Yeah, we're playing it safe. Recover and Protect. Yeah, I don't see what you lose from Protecting here, because it's yeah. not like he can Dynamax and... Uh... Okay, he switched out exactly. on that side. Okay, Corviknight. Yeah, that's okay. an annoying Pokemon. That is. This guy's... She flexing the shinies on me, okay? Yo, Corviknight is annoying. How much does a fire punch do to it? Phantom Force. Interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, so I we would have missed we would have missed him anyway, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. So that was so perfect. Nice. Also, All right. Phantom Force hits through protect, so keep that in mind. Ooh, okay. Okay. I forgot about that. I think I didn't know that, but that's some shit that doesn't happen very often. Alright. So let's see. Do we hmm. I think you, you you hit something for free right now. You can either ice beam, dragon bolt for free, or crunch him for free. Yeah. Probably better than Crunch Murphy because he'll die. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, just Ice Beam the Corviknight? Ice Beam Corviknight, I guess. Yeah. All right, so Crunch. Yeah, Crunch is guaranteed to Oko, right? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's see. What the hell does the Corviknight do, though, is the question. Look at Gastrodon eating it. He's going to bulk up or yeah. maybe press or something. I don't know. Tailwind. Tailwind. He's like, you know, I gotta make this, I gotta make this Dragapult faster. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, that's that's fine by me. Yeah. So it's his Tyranitar's gonna come back in now, right? Yeah. Uh, so obviously it'll be faster than yours. Yeah. I don't know if we care about that too much. <laughs> yeah, we should be good. It'll be a problem if it does end up having weakness policy, just because it'll be a fast ass weakness policy Tyranitar. Yeah, for sure. Mm. We've, we've seen Rock Slide and Crunch. We don't know what that last move is. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So, yeah, this is, this is actually kind of scary. We we have uh, our last Pokemon? we got the drill. Yeah. Oh, true. Um, hmm. Well, we'll definitely be faster than Tyranitar in the sand. Yeah. So if he does end up killing something. So yeah, I'll probably just we're not gonna hard switch here. Uh man. Corviknight really isn't that big of a problem, right? I mean, damn. Should I ice? Wow. We can't really do much damage to the Tyranitar until we, we get Axe Drill out. Too. What's up? So we still have that Reflect up, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, let's Ice Beam Corviknight again. Corviknight can be a problem if it starts bulking up and getting all these boosts, but uh, yeah. usually it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. You can double Corviknight, maybe. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Because, yeah, I mean, we have the Exodrill for the Tyranitar, so we're good. And also, the Sandstorm will stay around until then, right? Yeah. So then we then we Fire Punch the Corviknight as well. Okay. Let's just see. Is Tailwind common on Corviknights? I don't even... He's going for I've seen that. Look that at Gast... Uh, yeah, that did do quite a bit. Now he's going to he crunch. Probably... Going to double the Gastrodon. You bastard. Oh, we live in, though. Gastrodon. Damn, maybe we should have went for uh, should have gone for uh, recover. Fuck, that, that did a lot. That did do a lot. Oh, what do they got though? Damn no, it! No, he has a berry. Fuck the figgy berry. What the fuck? Well, that berry really ruined my day. Damn, that ice beam did a lot though too. All right. So not the best. He doesn't know you have. Uh, he doesn't know you have protected because we haven't used it. Yeah, should I protect on the Gastrodon? They're probably one of Yeah, to... sure, because you're gonna die if not if you don't yeah, use it. There's no reason not to. Um, okay, and then Art Punch here. Just try to knock out that Corviknight. Yeah, because the Corviknight's the biggest problem. Once we take care yeah, of it. Yeah, I don't see what else we would go for here. Yeah. <laughs> he might roost. Mm, yeah, roost would actually. Uh -huh. 
but I'm sure he's going to try to kill Gastro here. Yeah. Yeah, so Axgaryl does still outspeed, even with the Tailwind. And also, they only have, like, a turn left on that. All right, Gastrodon with the protection. Oh, the Corviknight does root. He did go for Earth. Okay, I figured. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I would have said go for Earth Power there, but he's probably going to crunch. Oh, he went for Super Power. Oh, shit. Oh, he switched it up. Damn. All right, not the best. Damn. He didn't even target Gastro at all. Yeah, that was good. That, yeah, the Earth Power there would have been super nice on the Corviknight. But there's, that's, t that's a tough prediction. All right, so yeah, all we got left is Drill. And... Hmm. Yeah, Iron Head will kill him. <clears throat> um, Let's see. I don't see so. what Corviknight does to you. Yeah, I don't think Corviknight has much for Exodrill, right? I'm mainly just worried about the Tyranitar. I mean... Should I just click Ice Beam on Corviknight, get some damage on that thing so Excadrill has an easier time, and then just Iron Head the Tyranitar? Yeah, I think that's, that's okay. probably a cool play. He'll, he'll probably kill Gastron right now. Yeah. We made a mistake there just because we playing kind of safe. Yeah, that, the safe yeah. play. He was rewarded. Okay, he's going to protect on the Tyranitar, too. Yeah, he's, he's making good plays. Yeah, so we've seen this, we've seen this thing's moveset now. Superpower is something I totally forgot about on Tyranitar also. Okay, so Brave Bird gonna probably finish out. Yep, yeah, Gastrodon. Yeah, those nice. are good plays there. Yeah, that was a good play. Yeah, because obviously we're protecting. Quick, huh? Yep. All right, I'm, my reflect is wore off too. All right. Well, yeah, we just Iron Head the Tyranitar, and I guess just see what this Corviknight has for Excadrill. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he went for went for some good plays, and you get rewarded for it. So you know, shit happens. Just tail and roost. Tailwind yeah. Roost and Brave Bird. Yeah, what's that last of... slot? These things usually just have body press or some shit, right? Just gonna Tailwind again. Alright, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we still outspeed this thing. The Sand yeah, Rose Exit Road. Hit Y, or go back and hit Y. You can see how many, many turns of Sand are, are left. Oh, nice. That's actually... Wait, where does it say it? Uh, just hit any Pokemon. Oh, clean. Okay, you got one more turn. Uh, that might actually come back to... You know, it's not the end of the world, actually. It's yeah. actually better, because if you ever roost at any point and we predict it, we can Earthquake him. Yeah, that is true. All right, let's just go for the... Yeah, we, we might as well go for it. I assume they're going to roost. Should I... Well, I Rock Slide here, obviously. Yeah, you Rock Slide first. Yeah, because we have one turn left of the sand. So we get that Rock Slide off. Can we get the flinch, please? We get amount of damage. Yeah, not bad. No, we're just going to roost. There's the roost. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> now you're going to be slower than him. Uh, mm -hmm. So if we can actually catch him slipping. Yeah, that would Braver's be. going to do a ton of damage to you. Yeah, shit. But if we can ever catch him slipping. Um... So I have to rock slide here. And then I guess try to earthquake next turn, but it is rough. It's Corviknight scary, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll just rock slide here. Damn. Okay, so Iron Head actually. That's his last try to this. Okay. So no flinch. But right, if we, we can... go, for, we go for Earthquake now, or do we go for it the next turn? That's like the big. <laughs> this right. is on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that... <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really fifty-fifty. I mean, if we go for, I don't, no, I don't think they'll go for it now, dude. But they're probably just gonna keep hitting Iron Head, and we're gonna flinch eventually. He could go for it now, though, just because, like, why, why, why not? Is, is that is true? All right, we're clicking earthquake. If it works out for us, it works out. But either way, this has been a good match. This is good. Yes, he roosted. There it is. Yes. Fuck out of here. Clean. Yes. <laughs> I figured he'd go for it now, just because it's very. It's obviously more obvious if he has less HP. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. But that's a play, nice. bro. Nice. <laughs> the plays. <laughs> <laughs> Not even bad. All right, so that was a hard-earned dub, but we still Pulled undefeated, boys, three, all 2020. Bro. Hayden Nishofu taking over the VGC scene. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was a hard read, bro. For Jesus real. Christ. All right, yeah, that was a good one, man. Well, so we're going to end it there. Thank you so much, my dude, for, uh, for stopping by, teaching me a few things. Yes, sir. I got you, man. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, make sure to check out Shofu's channel if for some reason you don't know who this dude is. His link will be in the description. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Yeah, gotta get the hell off of Skype, bro. <laughs> For real. <laughs>